This is Nancy with Food Anthropology, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about limiting food waste in your own home kitchen. And I'm a little bit embarrassed because, you know, I'm like everybody else, and I have good intentions of, you know, having fancy meals and buying lots of ingredients for a recipe, and the next thing I know, all the ingredients of the recipe get used up in something else and something, some quick fix for the day because I'm too tired um, to really make the recipe and the weekend got away from me because that's when I planned to make it and so that few last ingredients just end up rotting in your drawer, crisper drawer. And I'm going to show you one of those poor, poor little vegetables. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh, and you know what? This is one of the most versatile vegetables of all time. It's my cauliflower. And I don't know how long it's been in there. It's been in there for a little while. And I'm smelling it now. And it just has a very cabbagey smell. Which makes sense because it's a part of the cabbage family. So I'm going to unwrap it, and I think you can already see Blackie in there. That's Blackie. That's black, a little bit of black mold. But the good thing about it is just on the surface. So what I have here with me, compost, and you can see I've got all sorts of, I just emptied this. Like my problem is, is I have compost buckets on my counter, and they just stack up and stack up. And then I'm just going to prepare something really simple because that's all I have time for. So what I have with me here is just a basic roasting pan. I'm going to cut away all that nasty black mold. Uh, really see what parts I can still use because I know that most of this cauliflower is still usable. Uh, and the thing is, it's a kind of really sad thing that kind of breaks my heart is the whole part of this cauliflower is usable. And the, everywhere from the leaves to the core, even the little, you know, when we get it from the grocery store packaged like this in plastic, okay, first of all, it's not necessary. We don't need to be packaging in plastic. But even these bits of the cauliflower that we typically toss away, first of all, please don't toss away. Put it in your compost. It's as easy and simple as that okay and I beg of you find a compost collective go to your extension office go to your local farmers market go to your, any farm just google any farms in your area and find a place where you can compost it is so simple and there really is no excuse not to compost but these things are um, very edible uh, they're they're a little tough so you, you, you're gonna want to probably shred them uh, these, I feel, are almost a little past their prime, and they're, I mean, you can see there's a lot of yuck there that I'm just, I'm all about being safe. The first thing in food is to, is to be safe. We don't want to be sick. It's not worth it. So a lot of the stuff here, you know what, maybe if I was a better person, I could do it. Uh, possibly peel away the outer rim, really clean it, maybe do it in a solution of, I prefer vinegar rather than chlorine um, to be able to actually use this, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I might do that another time, um, but I'm just feeling a, a little cautious. So unfortunately, Blackie, the black mold, won the battle for this one. Because because the waste, waste is, is our villain. So I'm going to go ahead and just clip that off. And this bit too, this core, it's not too bad. Like I said, you're going to start to see bits of the mold. But you're also going to see that it's just surface. It is literally just surface. Now I'm going to change my uh, camera angle down to the cutting board so you can see what I'm doing as I slowly dissect <laughs> my cauliflower to find out what actually I can roast. Omega rainbow squash. Okay. So, I'm just going to go quickly peel away this bit. I need to put the light up so it's a little brighter for you to see. And I never ever use the right knife. So, but first I'm going to take that away because, like I said, everything.
thing that this plant is edible. It's an amazing plant, has lots of nutrients, has lots of versatility. I mean, everybody's making uh, cauliflower rice and cauliflower pizza crusts. Now, I'm getting down to some of these nicer ones and some of the, the younger ones. Not not a hundred percent sure. Like I said, if you're not sure, please, 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 please don't eat it. But that one's nice. That one, I'm gonna roast that one. So let's see what we've got. Let's go with the big one. So we're gonna see that. Now I know a lot of people will actually throw this away. But look, that maybe a quarter inch down, and I've got nice cauliflower. I'm just, sh I'm literally just kind of shaving it. That's the kind of person I am. I'm just, you know, I'm a scientist. I like to investigate. So we're just seeing how the edges, and if you want to, you can just do the whole entire edge work um, to make sure that there's maybe something unseen. But like I said, I mean, this is a wonderful plant. Um, most people might look at that and go, oh my God, I can't eat that. It's black mold, it's awful. But you got to know your molds. Black mold, in this case, I mean, a lot of the stuff is just surface. Now, I have mentioned in before about cheese and that nice mm, pink stuff. That's got fingers. And it's best to be really, really careful. To me, black mold is doable. Pink mold is mm, something else. Now, I know people are going to disagree with me, and that's okay. A lot of people disagree with me. But anyway, okay. So now you can see I have basically removed all of the blackness from my cauliflower. It looks, it kind of looks like it's had a lobotomy. Nah, yeah, I'm not so sure. Actually, it looks like it's had a shave. Maybe I should put it into like a, a mohawk or something. But now what I'm going to do is literally just um, chop all of it because I'm going to end up doing just a... Uh, basic roast with some onion and some garlic and I like I said before I'm kind of like the no recipe cooker uh, I'm, I go back to you know the days of my mom and, and her grandmother who would say well how, how, how did that work how did you make that oh I don't know I just I just did a little bit of this and I put a little bit of that in and I used to work in a uh, an adult daycare center and my friend would laugh she's like how did you make that and she's no wait let me t let me say that you opened up the cupboard and you just thought hmm that spice looked good that vegetable looked good and that's true that's exactly what I did uh, but I also think about simplicity because everybody's like short of time how simple is that just to clear off the, the yuck then we're gonna chop it you can see I'm just gonna clear off my stuff we got a good clean slot. Okay, so I'll, I, I start by chopping in half all of this. Now I know I know very typically all of this, all of this core ends up in the trash. Hopefully, at least in your compost pile. Uh, but this is also a start of making cauliflower steaks. Um, you just slice down. You may want a little bit thicker. But voila, that's a cauliflower steak. You cook the whole thing that way. Or you just start peeling away the individual flowerettes. I mean, how easy is that? Uh, and if I wasn't talking so much, I'd be done. I would have this already chopped up, put in the oven with some olive oil, salt, and pepper. Like I said, for flavoring, I'm going to add fresh garlic and onion, but you don't have to. You know what? And I'm going to just probably serve that with... Um, tonight probably a veggie sausage, but anyway. So, thank you for listening. This is Nancy with Food Anthropology, and I'm talking about how to limit food waste in your kitchen. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.